So to get started creating this invitation, what you want to do is go up, up here at the top right and create, um, click on create a design. So once you click on that, you could just simply type in invitation. So type in invitation and all of these will pop up. And the one that I use for this specific invitation will be invitation and it will be for portrait. I'm going to just go ahead and change the color that I want to use. I have my beautiful blue color right here. Over here are two elements. I'm going to type in silver confetti. With silver confetti, you go on the graphics, click on see all. And the one that I would like to use, this one. So you will need Canva Pro to do so. And I'm just going to just scratch it out just like that. But I want to go on the edit photos and adjust it, basically turning the brightness up a tad bit. I'll just go ahead and get the model first, but I wouldn't be able to show the whole model because of YouTube policies. Here is the model that I wanted to use, the stallion. I saw this picture on her IG. I was like, you know what? I could use that picture for something. I could use it for something. I was like, you know what? And I'm going to use it for this. So this would have been a great time to use it. But I'm just trying to adjust. And I think that right there will be absolutely fine. And we could also always go back and make her bigger or smaller if we need to okay so now that i have that i want to go back over here to elements and just type in transparent gradient so just make sure you type that in then go to see all and the one that i like to use is this one right here because you could change the colors on it there's others also but you just have to Click and play around with it to see which one you could change colors on. Okay. And now I'm going to change it to the background color that I already have it. And I'm going to click on it again and go to the white. I mean, uh, didn't mean to do that. But there you have it. And I'm going to just go ahead and just scratch it across. Or if you don't want to like have it to where it's covering up so much on her body, you could just make it smaller. But just make sure that you get um try to get rid of that sharp edge at the bottom. So that's basically why I do it honestly. Now I want to go and get it's like some balloons that I have. So let me just go and grab those. Here are the balloons that I want to use because I already have silver in the background of it. So with this, I'm gonna just crop it some and let's just go ahead and position it to the back. Not all the way to the back, but like basically behind her. And let's see if I'm trying to, I'm going to have to lock her in place for a minute. So I can try and get to that to do this. Okay, now I want to make a copy of that, but with this, I'm going to flip it. So you just flip it. You know what? Before I do that, let me just save myself some time and let me go to layers so I could click back on it because I did want to go in, like add a shadow to it. So I'm going to go right on the effects and go to shadows and I'm gonna go to the drop shadow 
So as you can see, it gave me that drop shadow, but now I have to go and adjust it. So what I want to do is go to distance and do this. So it give it that off the wall effect and not look so flat. So that's basically why I do it. So you could always turn the blur down. It's up to you. But I like to give it that look so it don't look so flat on my on my invitation. So with this I want to flip it. But I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to crop it and you'll see why in a minute because I don't want all of that showing. It's like I say it's like a certain type of look that I'm going for. And I'm just going to push this to the back also of her. And I think this right here will be absolutely fine. Of course, I have to crop that again better. You have both balloons on the side. And you can also add like a champagne bottle or whatever else you want to do right there. With the confetti in the back. I also wanted to go and like add a drop shadow on it because it will give it a better look. Basically make it stand out and not look so flat like how I did the balloons. So as you can see, that's how it looks now, but you have to like play around with the settings. And I'm looking for a distance. So with the distance, I don't want it like that i want to take like the blur off just a tad bit and you just basically have to get it how you will like it i'm just trying to give it that off the wall effect and i think that right there would do okay so we're just going to do that now i want to go and get my letters my words to add up here have the word birthday right here and i just want to make this somewhat bigger like this and i don't you don't have to like make it too too big so i want to also go to effects and add like a shadow around this I'm telling y'all, when you add like the shadows to it, it makes a big difference. It really does. Um, it just like make your work stand out more and not look so flat and boring. But yeah, um, you don't have to add a shadow to everything, but the sh shadows just make it look better. And I can, you just have to play around with the settings to get it adjusted. Okay, so I think that right there will be good. But I'm going to also make a copy of this and you will see exactly what I do here. And people may look at it like, oh, that's easy, that's easy, that's easy. Uh, Yeah, you might think so, but it takes work to get it to look somewhat decent. Or to get it a certain look so you can always look at stuff and be like I'm not saying that this right here is hard to do but it takes work like it really takes work it's not like no one two three or a ten step process that you have to do with this it's actually you have to put in more steps that's why I say yeah it, it definitely gonna take some work so I just took that and turned the transparency down to like a 10 and I'm just going to position it to the back. Just like that. I think I got this one to the back. It's kind of like kind of hard to see, but yeah. And I want to make another copy and like put this one, like line it up with the other one. 
hopefully I have it positioned it to the back also. Make another copy and put this one on this side and position to the back. I think I have, it's kind of hard to see, but I think I got like all of them lined up the way that they need to be. Go ahead and make a copy of this. But of course, I'm going to go ahead and change the font. And if you want to know what font this is, it's anti font. And I have my font right here, just making it smaller. Okay, so sorry, y'all. I needed to zoom out to see how it's going to look. But with this, I'm going to go over here. Let me zoom back in so y'all can see. Like over here, I'm going to go to the spacing, go to letter spacing, and just take it all the way up to 100. I mean, 800. And just do this. Like that. You can make it bold. So, yes, that's basically what I'm going to do. Just make it bolder so that it stands out somewhat. And I'm trying to get it like a say a bit closer okay so that's good enough now i want to go and like for this i'm gonna take it down i try not to like use like too too many fonts on my designs so yes and right here it's just basically going to say to celebrate to celebrate and of course you can make this smaller and I'm making it smaller for a reason and of course you are going to put the person's name so I'm gonna just put Megan's 30th because I think next year she would be 30 and like with this font I want to go and change it to like a cursor font so okay so I do have the font that I want to use and let me just slide this up because it don't have to be too too far off Okay, so we do have that. And with this part, you can just make it big or small, however you would like. That we're almost finished. Okay, and for the rest of the text, this is all that I have. The text, this is, that is all that I put was her um, date of the party the dinner party or birthday dinner and of course you want to put the address of the location the city state you or whatever you want to put so this is just what i put so y'all know that that information goes there and let me just see how it looks if i was to just make it a tad bit smaller okay and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here please share this video with your family your friends all of your social media i would truly appreciate it and god bless